my friends. Bum 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 bum. Welcome to How to Make a Toy Theater. My name is Patty Smithsonian, and I'm a puppeteer. What we're going to do today is first I'll show you what a toy theater is, and then we'll make some stages and puppets out of a cardboard box or any cardboard that you have around your house. Then I'll show you how we can make voices for the puppets and make a story together. What I like about toy theaters, and this is a toy theater, which means small or miniature, or sometimes it's called paper theater, is that we can change the backdrops. Like this could be Jelly Bean Land, or maybe I could change it into Animal Land, or here's a backdrop that I painted myself, but I also could cut out a backdrop out of a magazine picture. Well, let's go back to Jelly Bean Land. The puppets are made mm, out of cardboard, and I like to operate them from above because the puppets can have a little more movement. Traditionally, toy theater puppets were made to slide back and forth. Um, you could use a stick or a pencil. Miranda! Miranda! Yes, Father? Have you been eating too much candy? I love candy. A style that I would like to show you today is called the dun 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 collage, which is gluing pieces of paper together to make a design or character. And we can also make special effects, like having it snow. Hey! Here is a book just about toy theaters. It's written by Peter Baldwin. About 150 years ago, toy theaters were very popular. Remember, it was before internet or TV, and people made their own theaters. They bought these sheets of characters and the backdrops and the stage cut them out, and made their own shows. Usually they were about ballets or Shakespeare or a story they knew. These sheets of characters cost only one cent a piece, so people could afford to have a lot of characters and a lot of backdrops. They cut them out and cut glued them onto cardboard. This one is actually made with a background of wood. Today, we're gonna make a toy theater out of a cardboard box. And I hope you have a cardboard box at home, I bet you Let's do. Let's make the puppet stage. We'll need scissors and tape or glue stick and a cardboard box, something from your kitchen pantry, like a cereal box or cracker box or cookie box because they're easy to cut. How we're gonna start with our cardboard box is first by cutting off the bottom of the box. I measured it all around two and a half inches to make sure I measured it to make sure that it was the same width all around. If you don't have a ruler, you can use a strip of cardboard to measure and mark this as long as it's the same width all around. Then I'm going to flip my bottom of the box. I've pasted some black cardboard on top and insert it inside for the floor, but it's going to be a little too tight because they're both the same size. 
So I'm going to turn this around and I cut two slots so I can easily stick the floor in there. I could tape that if I want. Then I cut out the opening so that it is even or flush, we say, with the bottom of the floor. Then the puppets can be right here like this. I'm going to save this part and I'm also going to cut some slots on the top of the stage so that I can put scenery or curtains and they'll stick right there. To make the scenery, I cut out a piece. I can measure it or just maybe I can cut cut the same size as the box. Let's see here. I'll fold this over the stick. I think that's too long, so let's see. There's my backdrop. And now I'm ready for the puppets. If I want, I can decorate this. So let's start making the puppets. One technique that I like to use to make the backgrounds and the puppets is collage. I cut out different papers called prepared papers because I painted on them and glued them to the cardboard. Some I used a marker and outlined the clouds before I cut them out and pasted them out. Here is a book by one of my favorite collage artists, Romare Burden. Collage means take pieces of paper, cut them out and glue them together. Here's one of Romare Burden's collages. Here's another one. Romare Burden grew up in Harlem and in France, right in the middle of Paris. First, to make the puppets, we want to get some cardboard so we can use it as a backing. I like to use file folders, but any kind of cardboard, a cereal box that you have will be good. Then, we want to get lots of magazine pictures that we can cut out painted papers, um, wrapping paper, anything that you have. We're going to need scissors, tape, and glue. For handles for the puppets, you can use a chopstick or shish kebab stick, a dowel. I'm going to use pencils for the handle. One way of making a collage puppet is working with scraps. Find the scraps that are on the floor or just left over from cutting. And I like to put them together to make a puppet. A lot of these shapes I wouldn't normally ever think of. And so, see, maybe this is the tail and maybe I have some ears here, or maybe he has a big spike on his head. And then I could draw in the eyes and nose and glue them together. Or maybe I can do this a different way. Maybe these are actually the crown 
and maybe these are the feet and maybe just have these for the hands and then I can draw the character his eyes and nose and mouth so here's my finished puppet and it's ready for the handle and turn it around and this pencil isn't going to be long enough I like the end of the handle to go all the way down to the bottom of the feet so I'm gonna to have to use this stick that I found in outside and I'll tape it on and now I'm ready to perform now we can make voices for our puppets this can be really fun for this guy this puppet, I think I'll make a voice that's kind of like if someone pressed right here, like, huh! Let's see how that works. Huh! Yeah! Well, I don't have anything to do. <laughs> and maybe this butterfly actually will have a higher voice. Let's see what the puppets look like on stage. This is a wooden puppet theater that I made in shop glass. And the name of this scene is Shipwrecked. Ooh, ooh, I've been shipwrecked in this tiny room for six years or maybe six months or six minutes. I don't know. It seems like it's been so long since I've had anything to do. I wish I had something to do. Hola. Oh, butterfly, and you can talk. Yes, come with me and I will take you to a very magical place. An adventure! Follow me. This is a puppet stage that I adapted for younger children. It's made out of sturdier cardboard, so an adult will have to help cut it out. And I cut off the whole back side of it. There's three sides so that children can access it. It's a little more comfortable to use. And also, kids can hold the puppet with a stick with their whole hand. I'll show you how to move some puppets with some ordinary utensils. Let's see the spoon walk across like she's really sad. <laughs> Let's see the knife walk across like he's confused. Well, I don't know. What? Oh, maybe it's over here. I don't know where to go. But just go over here. Let's see the spoon move across like she's happy this time. When we move two puppets, we only move one while it's talking. Harold, where are you? I haven't seen you. I'm so worried. Harold! Here I am, Mom. Oh, Harold, I've been missing you. Where were you? I was playing baseball. Oh, that's good. Come with me. We'll have some ice cream. Oh, boy. So, have fun making your toy theater. <laughs>